So, say you've got a video and you want to put a fake YouTube overlay on top of it. Maybe you're trying to like fake out your audience. Maybe you want to show off a video that will be on YouTube, but it's like not on YouTube yet. So you can't quite screen record it. For whatever reason, you want, you know, the title, all the buttons, that little progress bar across the bottom to show up in your video. What do you do? Well, now in DaVinci Resolve, you can open up your effects library come to Generator Sterling Supply Co and grab the SSC YouTube overlay, drop that right on your clip, go to the beginning of your clip, extend it out all the way, and you'll have all those assets. And importantly, and super of note, the uh, time down here and the progress bar, the moment I stretch that out to six minutes and 44 seconds, boom, we got six minutes, 44 seconds, and that progress bar correctly rolls out over that time. This is the big reason uh, I made this preset. There are probably different like static images that you could drop over your video, but I wanted a dynamic overlay. And this gets even better. What if you just want to cut to a video for a few seconds, but you want it to seem or you want to pretend like that segment is in the middle of a YouTube video? Well, if I just come to the beginning, stretch this back down, uh, you'll see it dynamically stretches it, so it thinks the entire clip is only 18 seconds long. But if, you know, I wanted to fake that this clip was in the middle of a longer video, I open up my inspector and we have some controls. Uh, of course, first is just this title if you want to change it up. But underneath that, we have the current time offset and the end time offset. These sliders are on like a second basis. So if I pull this up, you know, something, uh, something like 200, the end time offset, now this shorter clip looks like it's from a three minute and 38 second long video. And if I pull up this current time offset to something in the middle, 100, then now it looks like we have jumped a minute and 40 seconds into this video, but both the counter and the progress bar plays back accordingly based on that total length and the length of this clip. Extra little features I added in. Um, we have a toggle for hours here. Um, so if you really want to crank this up and have a video like over an hour long, um, you can set that up here. You might have noticed while this clip was running that I did add this, you know, more solid gray bar that shows up when a video is actively buffering. That makes sense if you're showing like the entire video and I have a setting down at the bottom for the speed of that bar. You can adjust that if you want the entire thing to like your fake buffer qu quicker or shorter or um, of course, you can always check off the buffer bar completely if you want it over something uh, more uh, see-through. Or you can keep it on, but check the completion box so that over the entire source of a clip, it is already fully buffered. I like this a lot. If you're going for this effect, I think this preset does a whole lot of stuff. Now, I didn't pack this full of customization. You can't like individually toggle off a lot of these controls or change the color or stuff because like that's... I just made it look like what it looks like when YouTube is full screen. And for the people who want that, I think this is pretty great. But if you either grab this preset um, and have more customization you want, or if more customization options would actually keep you from downloading something like this, you should let me know. And maybe, you know, I can add it in an update. But for now, super functional little drag and drop preset. By the way, this title uh, is an Easter egg to the show Game Changer, which I love. Um, they had an effect just like this in a recent episode, but you know, without this dynamic, you know, bar or a little counter here. So I thought, hmm, I can do that and add some fun stuff. So I did it. If you want to purchase this preset, link will be in the description along with a general link to my store where I have dozens of presets and plugins for DaVinci Resolve, some free, some paid. Um, I talk about all those on this channel as well, so click around. Um, if you haven't seen some of those, I'm planning on doing a video soon going over you know, some of my cool stuff that a lot of you might not have seen. But for now, hey, got something new for all of you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.